Hey guys, what is up? So, the 12th of, what month are we in? March, uh, was yesterday, meaning the start of a new event week in GTA. Uh, big, big thing at the moment, there is no new car um, released. There is new podium, which we'll get to that in a minute. But, if you have been looking for an excuse to have a little bit of time off of GTA, this is the week to do it, because there honestly is not much going on. But, first thing is, we have three times money in RP on the Deadline slash Tron style adversary modes. Uh, three times money in RP on the Business Battles, um, so those are the free mode events that happen now and again. Uh, that is all for the uh, three times anyway. The discounts is the 40% uh, off the MC business properties and their upgrades. Um, well, MC clubhouse uh, custom bike shops are 35% off. Um, and several discounts on offer, including 30% off the Pegasus Oppressor Mark II, which I have had my experience of already, and it's not been the greatest. 30% off, 35% even percent off the Hucker, the basically the drag racing bike. I can never pronounce it. Um, and 35% off the Rampant Rocket, which is the three-wheeled bike. Not the newest one, the one that's like a drag racing style. And 40% off the Ocelot Locust, Locust, which is a bit random. Everything's bikers related, and then you got that. The Twitch Prime benefits, again, the 10% uh, extra off anything there is so far. Um... Also, members who connect their accounts to their Rockstar Social Club should receive $1 million GTA dollars in their Maze Bank account within 72 hours, which I think is kind of unfair. Uh, and also the whole Pixel Pete's thing. And also 80% off the uh, Pegasus, Tempasta and Rapid FMJ. The premium race is down the drain with muscle cars. Uh, I actually did this and won with the gauntlet, uh, the modern one. So you're going to want something that's got a high top speed rather than acceleration. The time trial is Fort Sankuda. You're going to need to be quick on this one because I, I can't do it. I can only just do it, but not fast enough with the F1 car. So you're going to have to be quick with that one. Uh, the construction site, which I can never do the RC bandita, the RC time trials because the controlling is a bit weird. Uh, and also the podium vehicle is the Shataro, which I I haven't done a video on the Shataro, but I will be doing a video some point this week relating to the biker themed. Um, but. For this week's video, um, I changed the title from the original, well, the first video that I did to something else. The original title was Unheard Cars Part 1. Uh, I've changed it now to Normal Life of a Racer, being all the racing styled vehicles that you can get. But obviously without the liveries because they are very cool looking cars. Um, at the moment we have the M. Uh, let me just find it. Um, but while I do find it, the car that we're talking about, it's along the lines of pretty much all of them, race livery style wise. They're all very. Um, they're all very uniquely styled. Ah, here we go. It is the Emperor, 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 ETR1. Um, but I like how this one looks. 
because it's a racer, like normal, you wouldn't really see them out on the street. But you get rid of the liveries, and they actually look pretty cool. Uh, Customization-wise, there's not a lot. There's some bumpers. Uh, I think three spoilers, one being to remove. Um, but there's not many customizations on it to do. Um, acceleration is... The acceleration and the speed's actually not that bad. Um, because I was going through the city with it, just, you know, trying to see what speeds I can get to. I was getting to some pretty high speed. I was getting, like, for me, the, like, the Progen PR4 speeds. So, it's not a slow one, especially with it being upgraded. Um, handling, it's got some pretty good ones. It's not as good as the PR4, but it is... If you do it right with the brakes, it is, it's good, especially with tight turns. If you get the turns of the braking right, then it is very good. Um, not much else really to discuss about it because it's already out. It's not, I think fully upgraded, it would be good with, um... It would be good with racing against others. It'd be a bit of a challenge if the slipstream was off, I think. Um, but it's a nice, it's even, it's a nice looking car as well. It's very good for a cruising drive. So it's not the cheapest. It is above, uh, it is above a million. So it's not the cheapest. But with the money that it is, it's kind of unique, like saying, because of not many people use it. So, I think it's not worth that amount of money, but it is worth something being unique. Um, but, yeah, this one was a bit of a short one, just because there's not really much going on in g at the moment with the whole event week like there's not much happening really especially with not having a new car so but hope you guys enjoyed um, I'm probably going to be taking a few days off of g this week with it not really being much to do um, I'm probably going to be doing some more of the Halo gameplay Probably Halo, I'm on Halo 4 now, so I'm going to be doing that at some point during the weeks. But, hopefully you all enjoyed, and I will see you, if you care for the GTA videos, I will see you when I do the biker related video, being the best bikes that I have come across, in my opinion, for stunt races. Uh, and you might be surprised with some of the bikes that are on there that are kind of... That are up there with the higher ones, like the Shitaro and the Batty. You, you're going to be surprised. But, hopefully you all enjoyed. Please like, leave a like if you did. Subscribe and if you enjoyed and want to see more, don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified on any new videos. And click and leave any comments of any suggestions of reactions or gaming videos you would like me to do. And I will see what I can put together for you. So, hopefully you all enjoyed. Please like. Comment, subscribe, and push.